But uh, I am here to present to you guys version 4.1 of Enterprise Scrum. So Enterprise Scrum is a general purpose empirical process management framework not only to do product development but to agilize in the same way anything sales marketing startups compliance portfolios anything that you want to manage in an agile way is a general way to do agile management it's also a framework for scaling not only software but scaling any other thing you can scale up customer segment teams or business units or marketing and sales. You should be able to do that too and grow a unicorn within your dinosaur. Enterprise Chrome Origins go back to the year 2000 when we started scaling the enterprise architecture for CBS Skermark. So we did, that was just purely software development, right? And we grew up that enterprise architecture to about 30 concurrent applications to be deployed every two months. CBS Caremark is still using those patterns. People that do it, do it and do it well, and they have been doing it for a long time, you know. You may have heard of another little company by the name of Salesforce.com. Salesforce.com uses a style of management that is very agile. They call it internally adaptive. And so it is very similar to Scrum in nature, right? And again, Salesforce.com only grew 19-fold in the last 10 years. How would you like to be like Salesforce.com? <laughs> Hard to say no to that, right? And like that, there's many other companies. You may have literally heard of Spotify. Spotify is a Scrum-managed company. And like that, there's many others. Cars.com, some sections of GE. We started to do a work with very many banks, uh, some sections of JP Morgan Chase. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on, right? And in some companies, we insist in managing with outdated management techniques. Whatever they teach you right now in MBA schools are outdated management techniques that are not helping you in dealing with this kind of change. So this is why we need techniques like Enterprise Chrome, Techniques that are synergized, that help you deal with faster change. Again, just to recap, it used to take 75 years to go from question mark, rising star, cash cow and dog. Now it takes seven years to go for those things. So you need a whole different set of techniques. There's just a lot of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity in the world. It comes in the ways of disruption waves, business models, new management techniques, emerging markets or changing markets, technology, political, uh, economic or social changes, changes in the workspace, changes in terms of the customer regulatory. All these things are hitting us at once. So this is why we need a new way to manage. Why you decided to write Agile Manifesto in 2001? Because we have been doing Agile things for six years or so. Scrum was invented officially in the fall of 1993. And we had a lot of success with projects in Scrum, but the world wasn't paying attention. So we wanted to make some noise and get some attention that this was a better way to do things. Because a lot of people see Agile as a software thing. And if you look at it from that perspective, Agile is something that started officially on February 11, 2001 with the Agile Manifesto. In a world of rapid change, something that lasts 17 years, it may appear to you that Agile is old. It's 17 years old at least. On the other hand, the real Agile impact at least this is what some of us believe, is not what was accomplished in software, but the potential of Agile as a new way of managing things. So some of us believe 
that agile management will be extended universally to other things. This is what some of us call business agility. And that is really a future where companies innovate faster, they test things faster in the market, they can adapt faster, they can manage their portfolios faster, put things, more things or less things, depending on opportunities. The real agility, the agility that is really going to potentially save your life as a business is not software agility. So, so let me tell you how the conversations go with sometimes uh, mm -hmm. with people, right? Well, my The Agile Manifesto was written down, you know, 17 years ago. Agile is then something in the past. The Agile Revolution was great, but now we're done with it. And then I'm thinking to myself, mm, you know, the, the real Agile Revolution is this revolution, the business agility. Before we did things that were Agile, and that was great. I mean, it helped us uh, moving from getting stuck in technology or software development projects, but this is really the agility that will save your life as a business. You know?